How to naturally dye textiles with onion skins. Today I'm going to show you how to naturally dye shades of orange with onion skins. A favourite way of mine to use food waste and to achieve a deep, rich, natural colour. My name is Kaylee, and this is a short video about how to naturally dye with onion skins on my channel, Billy New. Okay, so I'm just sorting out my onion skins into red and orange. I'm really lucky to have made friends with the, the guy in the local vegetable shop and he saves me all, all his onion skins. He just gives them to me in a big box like that. I get massive amounts of pleasure um, trying to prolong the life of things. And I think this is why I really like dying with food waste so much. Okay, so I'm going to choose my dye pots, one for red onion skins and one for um, orange. I like to use aluminium dye pots because they act as an extra mordant for the fabric. Um, if I can get it down. going to give them a little rinse because I haven't used them for a while. Some of my homemade washing up liquid. Oh, dirty. So I'm just going to fill or half fill these pots up with water and put them on to simmer. I'm not actually filling the dye pots up full to the brim. I'm going to extract the dye first and then that means I can, can get the, the onion skins out a bit more easily. And also I can just top them up with tap water when I'm about to put the, the fabric in and that will give the fabric more space to move around. If I can fit both these pots on my oven that would be great. <laughs> Okay, I think it's good. I'm gonna rinse the onion skins before I put them in the dye pot because sometimes there's a little bit of dirt and it's, not, it's nice not to have that floating around in the dye pot as well. I'm just gonna top them up with some onion skins that I saved from my house as well. So brown onion skin, or orange onion skins tend to make more browns and orangey kind of reddish colours. And because the dye, the skins make such a, a potent dye, I tend to just put, put a, a very big handful into the, into the pot. I'm not really the kind of person who likes to measure things precisely, so... Oh look, you can see the colours coming out of the red onion skins already. So you can see the onion skins have literally been in the water for about 30 seconds and already this like amazing pink, pink colour is coming out of the red ones. And the yellowy colour coming out of the orange ones. I've actually mixed up a little bit of red in this one. But it will all be fine. I like the surprises. I'm going to leave these pots to simmer now for a couple of hours 
on not a very hot heat just so that you can see the smoke or steam coming off the off the liquid and while I'm doing that I'm going to prepare my my fabric for dyeing so I've got a few um, fabrics that I want to dye today they've all been more dented with alamacetate beforehand and I'll do that in another video one day but for now they're ready to dye uh, the silk I didn't pre-mordant it's just as it is so I have a silk scarf I have some cotton scarves and more cotton scarves and some bamboo silk I'm gonna soak these in water for at least two hours before I put them in the dye pot and this is to make sure that they have an even uptake of the, the dye Sometimes it's quite good to squeeze them and you can make sure that all the water gets into all the pieces and crevices. And then just open that again. Just getting my pre-soaked fabric ready to go in the dye pot, squeezing it out and then I'm going to take it downstairs and watch the magic. So both these dye pots have been simmering now for about an hour and a half maybe and both the colours are looking absolutely lush. I'm now going to strain all the skins out of the dye pots and then I'm going to put the fabric in. I'm just going to take all the onion skins out of the dye pots. Like I said before I'm not really the kind of person who's that bothered about uh, precision I guess so it doesn't really bother me if there's a, a few tiny bits left in the in the dye pot but if you are worried about that you can always use a cheesecloth or a muslin and strain the Strain the dye through that and then you'll catch all the little bits. From this angle it's quite interesting because actually the, the colours look quite similar. So this yellow skin has kind of produced a kind of pinky, pinky orange colour and the red, red skins have produced a kind of, well, pink colour. But the results will be very different I'm sure. Now I'm going to fill each dye pot up with some tap water just so that the fabric has more room to move around and that way you're more likely to get an even colour. So now it's time to choose which bits of fabric I want to be which colour. This is the silk scarf and I'm going to choose the red onion skins for that. Where's my spoon? You can see it's already changing to that beautiful colour. And now I'm going to do a cotton the red onion skins. This is a cotton scarf and they've all been mordanted with aloe acetate. And I'm going to choose um, a 
another one for the red onion. I've got this piece of bamboo fabric, which in my experience takes the onion skin dye really well. So I'm just gonna put one little bit in the red onion skin so we can see the difference. And the other bit I'm gonna put into the orange onion skins. But if you look right now, you can see that they really look such a similar color. I'm sure they will not stay the same. I've got this last um, cotton scarf that I actually haven't pre-soaked and I'm just gonna like twist and scrunch and maybe tie it in a, in a knot, in a really random pattern. And then I'm gonna just plop it in like that and see what color come, see what patterns come out. And I choose orange. Now I'm gonna turn the heat up a tiny bit and leave them to simmer again for an hour or so, stirring them really regularly just so that the dye gets to all the places on the fabric. And then I'll probably leave them to soak overnight and see the results tomorrow. So <clears throat> both these pots have been sitting overnight and I'm just gonna empty them before I go to work this morning. And I've got in the red onion skin, I've got this really nice um, brown, orangey brown and in the orange onion skin, like a rich burnt orange. And that's what they look like together. I'm just going to <coughs> strain them, then I'll put them on a spin to get rid of the excess water on my washing machine. And then I'll dry them, give them an iron, and then wait for a few days before I wash them again. They actually look really good, don't they? Here's a little nutritional information about the qualities of the humble onion. They are considered nature's antibiotics and have antibacterial qualities. They are high in quercetin, a potent antioxidant, and are incredible for strengthening the immune system. Apparently onions can also purge the body of anger and help to loosen up resentment, fury and disappointment. So if you struggle with any of these, why not try adding this incredible vegetable to your daily diet? You can receive their benefits raw or cooked and now you know you can wear their properties on your skin too. If you'd like the chance to win one of these scarves, please let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next and follow me on Instagram at Billy New Apparel.